Hello there, STEMers. Welcome to section 4.3. We are in unit four. Unit four is about polynomials. In the first lesson, 4.1, we talked about what a polynomial is and some like general features of it. In 4.2, we practiced taking polynomials and adding them, subtracting them, and multiplying them. We have not divided polynomials yet, and that is 4.3. So first of all, a little disclaimer. Polynomial division isn't probably the most fun thing you'll ever do in the world. So we're going to do our best. And what we really need to do is we need to make it so that when you're done, you're like, all right, at least I can do this, okay? So that is my goal. Here's how we're going to do it. We're going to have you on page 89 of the student journal. In addition to that, you need to have extra pieces of paper. Basically, get a notebook out. Here's my extra paper, okay? And we are going to dig into how to divide polynomials. So first, we're going to need to know how to do long division. Probably your favorite thing from fourth grade would be my guess. So let's practice just doing long division. So let's get your uh, notebook out and let's try to divide four, uh, divide, uh, let's try to do 215 divided by four. So 215 in here. And then we'll put the four out here. And let's see how well you remember how to do long division. So here we go. Does four go into two? Can I multiply something, can I multiply four by something to turn it into two? The answer is no, we would actually have to cut it down. Uh, so let's now move on to 21. If I focus just on the 21, could I multiply four to get to 21? The answer is yeah, kind of. Four times five is 20, and that would get me almost there. So I could go and put the five right here in that second spot. And if I do four times five, that's 20. And now I could subtract 21 minus 20, and I have one left over here. All right, very good. Now there was also that five, and we carry that down. I wonder if this is ringing any bells from elementary school. All right, so now we take four and we ask ourselves, what could we multiply four by to get it to 15? Uh, four times one is four. Four times two is eight. Four times three is 12. That, that might be an option. Four times four is 16. Now we've gone too far. So we want to do uh, four times three. So that would be 12. And now we'll subtract it again. 15 minus 12 is 3, and how many, there's nothing to carry down anymore. Um, what, 4 times 1 is 4. We've already gone too far. So this 3 must be our remainder. So we have 53 with a remainder of 3, uh, which is the same thing as 53 and 3. This one would go on the top. This would go on the bottom, 3 fourths. So 215 divided by 4 is 53 and 3 fourths. Or, I suppose you could write it as 53.75. So that is an overview of long division that you might have done kind of when you were in like upper elementary school. So with that said, can we take some of those principles and apply it to dividing polynomials? The answer is yes. So you are now on page 89 of your student journal. Okay, there's a fair amount of work here, but prob if you write really small, go ahead and use this area. If you don't write really small, just get another piece of paper out, get a notebook out and do it on there. So let's do problem number one. We're going to try to use those long division ideas for polynomials. So this is the, the bigger one divided by this. So this is going to go underneath the division sign. Actually, I'll just do it like this. So I've got x squared plus 6x. Plus 12. 
and then we're going to divide that by x minus 3. All right, kids, here we go. Time for some polynomial long division. So what we have to first ask ourselves is, if you look at this whole x minus thing, three, 3 here, we just want to isolate this part, the first part, so that x, and we want to ask ourselves a question. What do I have to multiply this by to turn it into this? And the answer, and when I say this, I mean just that term right there. So what do I have to multiply x by to turn it into x squared? The answer is x times x would be x squared. So if I multiply this by x, it would turn this into x squared. So I've just done my first step. The next step is to take what I just put here and multiply this whole thing by this. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Now, you may remember that back when we were doing our long division, once we put the 4 times 5 and got 20, we then subtracted that and then carried things down. So now we're going to subtract this. But I can't just subtract this. If I put a minus sign here, that's going to affect everything here. So when I put this minus sign here, just like I did in this problem, I have to change the sign of this one too, because this whole thing had the sign changed. So I'm going to go like that. Now we have x squared minus x squared. Those cancel out. That was the whole point. And 6x plus 3x makes 9x. And then the next thing we did is we carried down that next thing. And here, the next thing is the number plus 12, so plus 12. So now we're carrying that down. All right, so now we're going to repeat those steps, except instead of asking ourselves, what do I have to multiply this by to turn it into this? I ask myself, what would I have to turn, at, oh, excuse me, what would I have to multiply x by to turn it into 9x? Uh, the answer is 9. So plus 9. 9 times x is 9x. So plus 9 would go right there. And now we're going to take this 9 and multiply it by both of those. So 9x minus 27. Okay. Just like we did with regular long division, Back in elementary school we, school, we would put a minus here, except that means this whole thing has to have its sign changed. So this is going to become a minus. This will become a plus. 9x minus 9x, they cancel out. 12 plus 27 is 39. All right, so now we have an x. What do I have to multiply x by to get 39? That's not going to work anymore. So this is a degree 1 polynomial. This is a degree 0 polynomial. We can't go any further. So now this is our remainder time. So we have a positive 39. So I'm going to put a plus 39. And last time it was we put the 3 on top and then the 4 on the bottom. So with polynomial division, we'll do the same thing, except we'll put the, this here will go on the top, and then the x minus 3 will go on the bottom. So our answer for number 1 is if you take this and divide it by all this, you get x plus 9 plus 39 over x minus 3. It's not the most fun thing in the world, but it's going to become very important as you get into pre-calc and AP-calc to be very good at simplifying, dividing, basically working with large polynomials. So you could think of this uh, lesson as, as a boot camp that's going to get you ready to do well in pre-calc and AP-calc. So if you're wondering, why am I trying to divide these big polynomials? That's why, because it's going to pay off when you get into pre-calc and AP Calc. So that is number one. What we're going to do is, uh, in the rest of this video, we're going to do problem number two together and problem number three together, and we'll do them at least a little bit faster than we did problem number one. So let's, now that we've got this down a little bit, let's do uh, number two. 
So the first one is what goes inside. So we'll have x to the third minus 4x squared. And then over here, we've got x squared minus 16. All right, so what do I have to multiply this by to turn it into that? Uh, the answer would be x. x times x squared is x to the third, so x. Now we'll take this, multiply it by all of this. So this is going to be x to the third minus 16x. Change the sign of everything here so that I can get these to cancel out. So these cancel out. Now let's take a look here. This is a squared term, and this has a degree 1, x to the first power. So these are not like terms, so I cannot combine those. Let's, we'll do the squared one first because that's a higher degree. So we're going to write these next to each other, negative 4x squared plus 16x. There we go. Okay, let's keep going. So now I ask, my, ask myself, what do I have to multiply this by to turn it into negative 4x squared? And the answer is negative 4. Negative 4 times x squared is negative 4x squared. All right, if I multiply negative 16 times negative 4, negative times a negative is a positive, so that's going to be plus 64. Change the sign of this so that they'll cancel out, because if they're both minuses, they won't cancel out. So plus, which means I have to change the sign of this one to a negative. So these cancel out, and now I have 16x minus 64. All right, what do I have to multiply this by to get it to that? That's not going to work because this degree is higher than this degree. So at this point, we now just write the rest as a remainder. So it's going to be, this is plus 16x, so it's going to be plus 16x minus 64 divided by x squared minus 16. There's our answer. We've just done polynomial division, polynomial long division once again. Let's do number three. And then I think once we've got three, that's probably, that's probably enough polynomial long division for us for now. Okay, so this one will go inside. 4x to the third plus 13x squared plus 27x plus 6. All right, divided by 4x plus 1. All right, let's get right to it. What do I have to multiply this, multiply this by to turn it into that? <clears throat> it looks like x squared. 4x, x times x squared is x to the third, so that gets me 4x to the third plus x squared. Change the signs so that these will cancel out. Then I have to turn this into a negative. So these go away. Are these the same terms? Yeah, they actually are. So I can combine these. So 13x squared minus x squared is 12x squared. Then I have to carry these down. So plus 27x plus 6. What do I have to multiply this by to turn it into that? 4 times 3 is 12, so plus 3. x times x is x squared, so plus 3x. So that will get me 12x squared. 1 times 3x would just be 3x. All right, um, I need these to cancel out, so I need to make this the opposite. So I'll just do that right here. These go away now. These are like terms again, so 27x minus 3x is 24x plus 6. What do I have to multiply this by to turn it into that? The answer is 6. That's 24x 
1 times 6 is 6. Okay, you look at this. So now when I change the signs, these cancel out, these all cancel out. So this is what it looks like when there is not a remainder. So this one just worked out perfectly. No remainder. There we go. All right, class, so that is polynomial long division. In the next video, I'm going to show you a simpler, quicker way to divide polynomials. So check back in a minute. Thanks.